Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. Um, I've got a couple things. Number one, in a second, I'm going to show you what some people believe to be the best freelance duck hunting waterfowl video ever to be put on YouTube. I don't know if I agree with that or not. I know I love this video. I know I love this video. So I'm going to show this to you in a second. And I want your opinion, whether you think it's the best um, FDH video or not, would love to hear from you on that. Um, I've been running some FDH classic videos lately from season two. You know, there's a lot more people watching these videos in season six than in season two. So I thought, you know what? I would like to reshare some of these videos with you guys. If it's an FDH classic video, you'll know it because there's a little circle in the bottom lot left uh, that says FDH classic. So I'm going to show you that in just a second. I think you're going to enjoy it. But before we do that, big announcement. I already mentioned it on one of their videos. Right now, you can watch freelance duck hunting videos on Roku. Um, I was approached by a company called Streamfire and they said they would like to help me take these videos and put them on Roku. I said, hey, why, why not? That sounds, it's cool. I, I think it's fun having them on there. Um, I don't know where it's going to go, but it's just another place where I can share what I love to do. So as of right this second, if you have a Roku device and you want to go and search either Duck Hunting or Duck Hunting TV and you can find on Roku um, seasons three, four, and five running right now. You can't you can't search for that duck hunting. It's either duck hunting TV or duck hunting, and you can find it. Install that channel, and then anytime you're sitting on the couch, if you got a Roku, boom, you can turn it right on. So, um, I'm like I said, I'm excited about it, and we will see where that goes. So, to kick off that um, partnership between myself and Streamfire, we are running a Thanksgiving FDH. Streamfire Roku Marathon right here on this channel on Freelance Duck Hunting starting Thursday morning at 9 o'clock, clear through the end of the day, Sunday. I'm going to be running videos just straight through. And so if you're bored and you want to check that out and say, hey, what, what episode's running now? Go ahead and hit that. If you're a new subscriber, you haven't seen a lot of those old videos. A lot of my favorite videos are, the, are some of those old, old videos. So go check that out. If you don't know what Roku is, it is just a device where you can watch a lot of TV channels that's way, way cheaper than your traditional cable companies. I know I cut I cut the cable to uh, cable TV years ago, 10, 12, I don't know, long, long time ago. $17 on Black Friday. Friday, you can pick up a Roku. You can go pick that out, and you can watch Freelance Duck Hunting over there on Roku. Search Duck Hunting or Duck Hunting TV. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. I want to know, do you think this is the best video ever put out by Freelance Ducking and myself, or not, you know Danny's going to be acting a fool in this thing. <laughs> you know he is. So before you ask, he's not going to duck on He's done with it. I wish he wasn't, but he is. But this old school Danny video, it's him at his best. So let's go ahead and check this out right now. Don't forget the marathon over Thanksgiving, and don't forget to check me out on Roku. Here we go. Okay, well that's sweet of you. Yeah, it's gonna be a good season. That's all right. It just, no, it's, that's it's, not all right. It's, it's holding it. Damn. It's <laughs> Are you kidding me? You just been able to drop a double. Get him. I cannot <laughs> believe that you were trying to brace a flame it's, it's, with shotgun shells. I'm not going to cook this with a shotgun shell right by the flame. I can't even let see this. Brace. That is so dumb, I don't even know if I can put that on the video. Did you take your meds today? It's good, it's good, it's good. So here we are again. We're hearing geese, or we're hearing geese cackling like crazy. We've had uh, ducks in this river spot for about a week now. I don't know how well we're gonna do, it's but gonna they're certainly in here and we already hear honking like crazy. Well, we've made the move. We're back in the woods. We just felt like that the singles, doubles that were flying around, we're uh, shying away from us, laying in the willows on the sandbar. Let's 
day, Candy. There we go. Well, you got two? Oh. Now that we're set up where they want to be, you just be able to drop a double. So that's good. We got started here. Candy had to break ice to get that duck. Now she didn't want to break ice coming back very bad. <laughs> She's making it. All right, so Nevin sluiced one sitting out on the ice there. <laughs> couldn't get the thing landed, couldn't get the camera on. Ever since we put the spinner in, they've been landing in our decoys. Turned on just like a faucet. Come on. Hey, Carl. I don't know, but man, you reached out there on that last one. <laughs> Quite the shot. Get that retrieve. I thought it was out of range. Look at that. I hit him on So we're sitting with four drakes and a hen. And hopefully the way this is going, I'm hoping we can end up with ten or so. Uh, Nevin's got one and a half. I've got one and a half. Fumbles has one. Dan's got one. Let candy go. Yes. Stay. I got it. Twice. Guys, we're that's guys. We want to let these birds get below us. Okay. You can shoot that one? Yeah. We want we want to let these birds get below us though. That's a little too quick. Yeah. Because if we let those birds get, we're, you guys shot these birds up here. Look where I'm pointing. Yeah. Let's shoot them here. Let them as long as they're as long as they're dropping. They were gonna make one more circle. I don't think so. I think they were gonna do it. You think? Yeah. Yeah, I think they were committed. Yeah. How weird. That duck would have come in here, but someone was bumbling, fumbling, and stumbling down that way. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, right here. Take them. People. All right. So we're waiting. We're. I'm trying. We're trying to get them a little bit lower down in the pocket. And so I wait. I waited to call the shot. A they were pretty low. They were. Yeah. So Dan's setting up a jerk rig. We've been a little lazy about it, and we got some stagnant water, and we can't get these ice chunks out of here. So. You're just gonna keep it like that in between your legs? No, I just can't find a. There. Okay, so that's a uh, propane. Man, I'm spilling it everywhere. That's uh, try the sterno. Here's, dude. There's shotgun shells right there. No, that's all, that's all right. It, it's, no, it's, that's not all right. It's it's holding it. Dan. It's. <laughs> are you kidding me? It needs a brace because if if you get it. Dan. Too, look. Dude, I'm not putting your shotgun shell anywhere near it. It takes a time. long time. <laughs> Trust me. You can't hold it up. I'm you... not going to cook this with a shotgun shell right by the flame. <sighs> Gosh, I cannot believe it. Have you done that before? Yeah, yeah. It takes like... I've taken a blowtorch straight to the primer of a shotgun. you done what? It takes like... Hold on, what did you just say? Like blowtorch? three minutes. A blowtorch to a shotgun. Like, you took the, a blowtorch to, to the a primer. Shotgun. To primer. Why? Just to see what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so look, it took like four, maybe three minutes. Yeah, just light it. See? Is it getting up there? 
it's good. It's good. All right, now. Get those shells out now. <laughs> Did you take your meds today? It's good. Here. Don't point those shells. With me, I cannot you. <laughs> believe that you were trying to brace a flame it's, it's, with shotgun it's shells. Gonna be, look. You had shotgun shells lined up like that, right up against the flame to brace. No, it. that's not the flame. That's not the flame. It's close enough. I seriously don't even know what I'm gonna do with you. It's not. It's. I can't even let Beth see this. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> We finally got you broken and pointing your gun at us with that sling. And then I was just pointing the pure bullet at you. I don't even know what to say. They don't even work. Most people don't grow up and say, burn down 15 acres of a New Jersey public forest. Uh, most people. Did you do that or something? Most people. I, I don't understand the context I won't, of that. I won't comment. confirm or deny that I've done that at all. <laughs> all right. Most people haven't dropped a match down gas tanks. Most, most people don't throw these in a fire. They don't do that, right? I've seen what happened. Usually okay. half is uh, the damage or virtually nothing. I didn't film it because I just wanted to shoot, but there's our seventh, six drakes and a hen. So I said yesterday that we were gonna shoot between six and 15 and we got seven. Things are going okay. We're not slaughtering them, but this is fun. Yeah. Good time. That's nice. Yep. So you know what? I need to contact Chef Boyardee about a sponsorship. Yes, you do. Because yes. we have hyped them so much. And the truth about us and Chef Boyardee is the only reason that we bring it so much is it's just what's in the cabinet. <laughs> There's no like, I want Chef Boyardee. It's like, oh, I forgot to even worry oh about God, it. What, what, what can I grab? For just one. If we get this whole flock, let's really, really pound them, guys. We're gonna get these three here, guys. Did you, did you get one, Nev? Huh? I'm not sure. I, I, got, I, got I think one. I did. Nice! I know I got one or split. Beautiful, yeah. guys. I'm not, I'm not sure. Izzy! Oh. I'd say you all got one. Yeah. Nice work, guys. Right. Yeah. Oh, nice. Woo! Beautiful, guys. Get candy breaking eyes here. Absolutely beautiful. Damn. That's Brothers? some shooting. That's what we're talking about, guys. What are we at? Ten? Yep, that put us at 10 right there. Yeah. Here. Thank you. Did Here. you feel like one dropped when you pulled the trigger? Well, I wasn't sure. There was just so much going on. Yeah. Boy, that was awesome how they dropped, wasn't it? Come on, Grandma. You can do it. Just the hand. I don't know. Someone. Were you picked? Did you pick out a Drake, Dad? Yeah. Did you pick out a Drake, Dan? The second one that dropped, I know was mine for sure. Yeah, we'll just take you one. got three? three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Somebody needs to take this in. I know I got the last one. Oh, that dropped. give that one to Nevin then. I know if this is ethical or not, but we had a, a white elephant gift Christmas thing, you know? And so every time we do that, I just buy what I want to have and then I go after it. Well, this year for the first time, I like was the last number, so I knew I was going to be able to get whatever I wanted. So I had these two little tools, this little saw thing, and anyway, and I knew I could snag it. But then I saw another gift was much more expensive, right? right. So like $40, and my gift was like 20 right. So at the last second, I went after the $40 gift and didn't go for mine. I went and bought mine, which were now half price. <laughs> Returned that gift for 40 and cat and pocketed the cash. <laughs> <laughs> you returned the. <laughs> I made up like a bandit, man. So is it unethical? Yeah. No. I don't think that's. It's unethical. still a gift. A gift yeah. that keeps giving, by the way. Yeah, I don't think that's unethical. You 
beauty, buddy. Ah, nice shot. The green wing. I'm pretty certain it's a green wing drake. Fun day, right? Heck yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So I really thought we were going to shoot somewhere between 6 and 15. We ended up with 12. We could have had a few more, but we didn't do too bad. So it was a really frustrating start. I kind of started feeling this one slip away from us again. Uh, but then once we got set up over here, you know, they just kind of kept moving. So, you know, we ended up with the 12, so we averaged three, three birds a person, which I'll take that any day. And this is the best day that old Nevin's ever had. Yeah. Shot two mallards and he and I split on another one. So, his best duck hunt ever. For sure. Best time of your life, right? Yeah. Two drakes and a split on another one. Yeah, it was really fun. Ah.